home grade schoolers, welcome to another class here with me, Miss Amy. Today our theme is leap and bound. So we're going to be working on different leaps and jumps and also work on our conditioning today as well. For this class, you're going to need a rolled up towel. You'll see why in just a little bit. All right, before we get started, it's time for our little gym channel. Everybody put their hands in the middle. We're going to go one, two, three, TLG. Here we go. One, two, three, TLG. You guys are awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm up today. It's going to be a super fast warm up. We're going to work on a little bit of conditioning. So go ahead and bring your parents or maybe a sibling along with you. Make sure you have a lot of space around so we can do all these activities. Keep in mind, some of these activities may be a little bit challenging, but make sure you don't dis get discouraged. Just keep on trying your best. That's all that matters, okay? All right, go ahead and stand up. Stretch out those arms. We're going to listen to our song and get nice and warm. Here we go. Power play, kids, it's time to power up, run. Listen to the music and walk slow or fast. 
more easy run while we do our okay. circles at the same time. Alright, our circles and run. Hold it five, four, three, two, one, and 
give those knees a hug. Awesome stretching. All right, everybody, it's time to leap and bow into action today. This is going to be where you meet your roll up towel. You can roll it up long ways uh, or put a uh, wide, whichever way that you would like to. I have mine roll up this way. So what you're going to do is find an open space or a hallway to practice this in. You're going to start by finding your leaping leg. So what I'm going to do, I like to leap with my right leg. So I'm going to put my right leg behind me. Now that's the leg that's going to transition over the towel and I'm going to land on it. So watch first. I'm going to go one, two, three, leap up and over. Go ahead and take a minute to find which leg you like best. See if you can leap over with this leg. See if you can leap over with the other leg. Keep in mind, we don't want to be jumping with two feet. That's a hop. We want to be practicing those leaps. Hey, you may even need a little running start to run and leap over. All right, once we find that established leg, we're going to go ahead and see how high and how far we can leap. Remember, when we do our leaps, we want to make sure that we're not just jumping. We want to make sure that we're really using our core, we're keeping our legs straight, and we're standing up nice and tall too. What I'm going to do is go ahead and roll out my towel just a little bit. Now I really have to work on jumping over that towel. Don't step on the towel. Here we go. One, two, three. Take a little run and leap. Did you do it? Awesome. Now this is a little bit trickier. You're still trying to find that leg. No worries. Keep trying your best. I encourage you guys to keep practicing this every single day, okay? Let's go ahead and move on. Roll out the towel a little bit more. Here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, I had to leap a little bit further that time. All right, again. Now, I'm gonna try to roll my towel all the way. So I have to really focus on keeping my legs straight, my core tight, and really jumping high and far. Here we go. One, two, three, leap. Awesome job, high five. You guys did it. Keep on practicing that at home, okay? We're gonna go ahead and put our towel away. Thank you, towel. And we're gonna head and do some conditioning skills. This first conditioning skill is gonna be called push-up jacks. Now, very similar to a jumping jack, however, we need to find our push-up position. So in our push-up position, we need to make sure that we're making a nice, straight body. We don't need our hips up here, no hips down here. We want to make sure that we're having our shoulders over our hands. And in a push-up jack, we're going to jump our feet apart and together. Did you finish back in that straight body or did your hips go up? Let's see. We're going to go ahead and do five. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome job. You guys did it. So go ahead and keep practicing those at home, working on our conditioning and working on our leaps and bounds. Next conditioning skill is going to be feather bounces. Now a feather is really light. So what we're doing here is we're working on pushing through our toes, using core control, and trying our best not to make a sound. So go ahead and keep your legs glued together, arms up by your ears. Now when we do a feather jump, it's really light. We're not jumping over. We're not jumping far forward. We're trying to stay light on those feet and jump straight up. So go ahead and try 20 feather jumps with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome job. Keep on practicing those at home. Thank you everybody for leaping into action with me today and practicing those exercises at home. Hey, your personal outside practice is to leap over your parent. So parents, you're going to lie down in your hollow body and try to leap over them just like you were practicing leaping over that towel. That could be a little bit silly. Uh, thank you guys so much for really trying your best. Remember how super awesome and wonderful you guys are. 
we're going to go ahead and do our little uh, chant, and then I will see you guys all on the next one. Here we go, hands in the middle. One, two, three, TLG. Bye, everybody. See you on the next little gym at home.